Red Cat Gen 7 video and I have a mess going here because I've got pieces all over the place. But I bought this uh, aluminum center gearbox housing case from Hot Racing for my uh, Red Cat Everest Gen 7. And uh, I'll show you what I had to do. This thing, when I bolted it together, would bind. And I could not figure out why it, could, why it was binding so much. But I'll show you. There was no account taken for the fact that the center gear and bearing sticks out a little bit farther than the other two. All right, this one goes through its own bearing. This top one has a bearing it goes into. But this one, when I'd put the two halves together and tighten it down, would push this bearing so hard into the gears that it would seize it. Not completely, but enough to give it a high drag uh, situation. And it's because of that ridge right there that I'm pointing at. And there was no consideration made in the uh, case that I bought. Now, I had to go and cut a channel with my Dremel tool in there. I had to literally see where it was rubbing. And what I did was I bolted it together, put it in a drill, and then spun it. And it made a witness ring where it was rubbing badly. And then I just went in and uh, used my Dremel tool and uh, just hogged it out made a channel for that to that ridge to sit in and now when the two halves go together it doesn't have drag but that would have burned out a motor it would have burned up gears quicker and i won't say a blanket statement for all red cat uh aluminum gen 7 transmission houses housings but i would caution you to check yours to make sure that it does not have the same issue that mine had when i put it together now it uh, doesn't hang up and it spins freely. What I've done is I've put the center screw back in to hold it together and clamp it tight. And if your transmission doesn't swing like this, it's probably bound and it's probably that center gear being sandwiched between the two halves of the transmission. When you work with 10 scale stuff, it's a lot dirtier than uh, 24 scale. But I'm gonna show you one more thing and uh, I don't know who to blame for this, Red Cat or Hot Racing for not catching it. But obviously Red Cat knew, or maybe they just didn't know themselves, that that gear was going to be wider. And you can see in this plastic case that I took off because uh, it literally pulled the screws out of it and ripped itself off of the uh, skid plate. But you can see here exactly where that screw was cutting into the housing. Uh, and uh, it's pretty obvious that's exactly where you need to open a channel and on this side you can see where it was rubbing and it's kind of a smooth in indentation so my guess is that's been hot because that's wavy and uh, that's had pressure on it to make it look like that but um, Red Cat did not provide space for their own gear Hot racing didn't catch it, and uh, it was caught today. But I'd just like to say one more thing. Everything in my videos is based upon my experience with my part, and it is all opinion based upon observation. So, you know what? It might not be true of all vehicles, but it's true of this one. I've got this put back together. I'm outside uh, in my backyard. And uh, this thing even sounds different now that, now that the gears aren't meshing hard trying to fight that uh, center transmission gear. I've always wondered why this truck was so loud. It didn't have to be. This is the quietest I've ever heard it. just for fun do a little climb here zoom out and uh, it, everything about it is smoother I, just, I love it now since this 
video is already too long. Oh, I just love that sound. <laughs> 